Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking egg fuyong with gravy. So let's start cooking. Now we will season the eggs. I have with me over here six pieces of eggs. I've cracked them into a bowl. These are pretty small because these are firstborn eggs. If you're using bigger egg, you can actually use just four pieces of them. So I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoon of soy sauce, light soy sauce, one teaspoon of sao xing jiu or sao xing wine. This will bring out the flavor and of course dashes of pepper. Just beat them up. If you do not want to use light soya sauce, you can always replace it with salt. Okay, so after this is done, we are going to fry the egg. Now we are going to fry the omelette. Heat up a pan, add in a suitable amount of oil. Swirl the oil around. Make sure that the oil coats the pan. Add in 15 grams of carrots. I have a julienne them thinly like this. Add in also 50 grams of shark shrimps or prawns. When the prawns are almost cooked, we'll add in 50 grams of chashu or roasted pork. Now we'll add in the eggs. Turn the heat to medium low. Move the ingredients around so it's nicely distributed. Now I like to scrap the bottom off a little bit because this will help to cook this omelette. Remember, don't turn the heat up too high otherwise you'll burn the omelette. Now when it's almost set, I'll add in one stalk of spring onion, cut finely like this or chopped up. Just sprinkle some on top of that. This will be good. I'm going to flip the eggs over, so I'm just going to make sure that the eggs don't stick to the pan. Just move it around like this. Right, this is what I want. So depending on how well you want your eggs to be done, okay, you can serve this immediately now. Now normally I don't like to cook it too long because uh, there's still heat retention on the eggs. So I'm just going to put this on a plate now while we prepare the sauce. Look at how beautiful this omelette is. Now I'm going to prepare the sauce. In a pan, boil one cup of water. Once the water is about to come to a boil, I'll add in one teaspoon of concentrated chicken stock. If you do not have concentrated chicken stock at home, you can use chicken stock, but be mindful of the seasoning that you put inside here because concentrated chicken stock is pretty much salty so I'm not going to add any salt inside here to balance up the taste I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of sugar I like to have a little color in my sauce so I'm going to add in a little bit of a dark soya sauce this one is to personal preference depend on how dark you want it to be I'm using about half a teaspoon of dark soya sauce well, before we thicken this up, let's just give this a taste. Mmm, very nice. I can use a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt will do. Just a little bit of salt. We're going to add in a little bit of pepper. And now we're going to thicken the sauce up. Thicken up to the consistency which you want. Now all we've got to do is off the heat and point one teaspoon of sesame oil. This will increase the fragrance of the dish. Stir it in and we'll pour this sauce over the egg. Now we'll pour the sauce over the omelette. Pour as much as you want. This is going to be so good. And we'll top it up with some spring onion. 
time to enjoy this dish. Now the egg is done, let's have a taste. Beautifully done, the egg is just nice. Mm. The egg actually absorbs all the gravy. Pretty neat. Mm. The sweetness of the char siu, the crunchiness of the prawn. This is really great. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.